Hi, I'm Mel and I am Double Pisces Tarot. And today I am doing a reading for Pisces. So I may do things a little differently today, but we'll see how the reading goes. I wanna get Pisces out a few different cards today. Okay. Messages for Pisces. So we have gift. Family room. And journey. So there could be a gift coming towards you, something that is surprising. This could be something to do with your home, could be from someone close to you. You could be actually moving. I've been seeing that in the cards. It could be. moving away from somebody but we've got official person coming out on the back of the deck so this is coming from some official person in your life this could be you know um, a parent or an older family member or it could be actually someone from the community like a policeman take what resonates for you well, that looks good for you, Pisces. Okay. How's that looking? It's a little bit crooked. Beautiful. Okay. We'll get some tarot out and we'll see what messages Spirit has for the collective today. So I'm using the animal tarot today. I haven't used these for a while. I have had them for a long time. Messages for Pisces, please. So we have the sun. Beautiful. like it's a capybara i get so addicted to that song on tiktok the capybara song but it is good me and my daughter love it so much so we've got the eight of swords the nine of swords so you're moving with divine time here pisces which is lovely you're on the path you're supposed to be on we've got the three of wands the center card of your reading today pisces is the five of cups then we've got the page of swords i felt when i looked at that five of cups that it's somebody else's energy around you. The Wheel of Fortune. The Two of Pentacles. The Nine of Wands. On the back of the deck, you have the Tower. And the Eight of Wands. So there's a tower moment that is going to come for you, Pisces. Everything happens for a reason. So this is supposed to happen in your life. I used to freak out about the tower when I first started reading tarot and stuff. But, you know, when you evolve, you sort of learn to understand that 
things happen for a reason, good or bad. It's just how life is and you learn from each each lesson. What is the sun? So we got the two of wands. The queen of cups. And the ten of wands. So we've got the sun, Leo energy. Sunflowers could be coming out to you, but I feel this is you seeing the sun, seeing the truth, opening your eyes, Pisces. There's a wish fulfillment coming towards you, something that you deserve. We've got the two of wands, so you were at a crossroads at a time in your life. You chose a path though, Pisces. We've got the Queen of Cups, so I feel like this is you coming out giving your love to somebody in your life, giving your love. And, you know, as I said, you you had to choose between two paths. You've got the 10 of ones coming out. So you sort of jumped on your little raft and off you went. Off to new, new adventures and things that, you, you know, deserve your time. Because we've got the six of pentacles coming out. So you're giving... You're giving to what's deserved. This could be uh, family. This could be job. But I feel like, you know, we've got job and family coming out on this card, I feel. So what is this Eight of Swords? We have the Hermit. Virgo energy. The Ace of Swords. And the Three of Cups. The Six of Wands on the back of the deck. Peacocks could be coming out. I have been seeing peacocks the last day. Just everywhere. But how beautiful are peacocks? I don't really remember the, the meaning of peacocks, but when you look at what peacocks are and it's the male, you know, the male is the more colourful peacock and he puts his feathers out to attract somebody. So someone could be out there trying to grab your attention. So we've got the Eight of Swords coming out and I feel like this is this person. They could be in their head, in their mind about some kind of situation, some kind of three-party situation. I feel like this person wants to come in with some kind of communication. So we've got the Ace of Swords coming out, Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We've got Virgo coming out, or the Hermit, so they could have Virgo in their chart. They could feel like some kind of animal. They want to follow the star. It looks like they're getting their colours, so they could be starting to evolve, but this person feels imprisoned. This person could be, you know, with the with the Six of Wands coming out, some kind of flamboyant person, someone that attracts others a lot. They like to dress crazy. What is the Nine of Swords? We've got the Knight of Cups. The Nine of Cups. So 999 could be coming out. That's nearly completion. So there could be something so close coming towards you. This could be nearly in that present moment. The Empress. And on the back of the deck, we've got the Page of Cups. So the Nine of Swords. Nightmares, not being able to sleep. I feel this person wants to come back in after you've given this up. They're having nightmares about it. They're like the centipede. To me, the centipede looks stabbed. So it was like this person feels hurt, stuck. We've got this Knight of Cups. So yeah, as I said, they want to come in with some kind of emotional fulfillment. 
water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, that could be in their chart. They could come in and out of your life as they're a knight, but they want to come in with some kind of mission, some kind of wish fulfillment. I feel this is a wish fulfillment for them having you in their life. You've got the Empress coming out, so Taurus energy. That could be in their chart, but they look at you like this Empress. You birth new ideas. You could be a parent, but the stork is divine. Look at the wings on the stork. So, just so beautiful. This divine creature. Now this is what they want to give you. I feel like they may want to have heaps of babies, babies with you too. What is the Three of Wands for Pisces? So I feel this is all like in your present or future. So we've got the Page of Wands. The Ace of Cups. And the Queen of Pentacles. So I feel like you've turned your back on that situation. You're looking into the future like the sugar glider. You've got everything you need around you. You know something's coming. You can hear it. You know, this. the sugar glider's looking because they can hear, you know, branches breaking on the ground from something walking. So you know something's coming towards you. We've got the page of wands coming out. So fire energy, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. There's some kind of good news coming towards you from someone that's younger than you, I feel. Someone that wants to bring in this cup. They may be a little bit goofy. You know, beavers are a little bit goofy. They're funny. They, I feel like they want you to give to them. They want to come in and give their cup and you give your emotions and your commitment, I feel. Commitment, money, take what resonates for you. But yes, I feel like they look at you like this Queen of Pentacles. And you are this Queen of Pentacles. You give to what is deserved to be given to. You, I feel you're very nurturing. But there's good news coming in. You know this is coming in. You can hear it. You can feel it in the air, Pisces. So I've got the Five of Cups coming out. What is this Five of Cups for Pisces? So we've got Justice, the Six of Swords, and the Seven of Wands. On the back of the deck, we have the Queen of Swords. So Five of Cups, I feel this is you. I feel this is this other person too. They may be sad over the past, well, obviously it's coming out in the reading that they're in their mind about wanting to come back in. And you are sad about the three cups spilt, the emotions that were lost, everything that was given up, not realizing that this person does still love you. But Pisces is going to make a move. We've got the Six of Swords coming out. You're moving for Karma Water. I feel you have stabbed this Someone please tell me what this underwater light bulb fish thing is called in the comments. But I do love watching that ocean stuff and you do see, I do see him. I know he has the bulb on his head and it tracks the food and then he eats it, which is pretty amazing. Some of those creatures way down below. But yes, this person could be like those creatures that, you know, like this... They put a bait on the end, and then once the person takes the bait, they just annihilate them. This person could be someone that likes to stay up at night. You know, they can't sleep at night, so they're staying up like a night walker. 
but yes i feel like you've you've left that situation it's over you've put the swords in and there's some justice call this could be the justice call that you're giving this overness justice libra energy i feel like you're this owl you're giving balance in this in your life you don't deserve those crazy fish around you, those ones that want to bait you up and because they leave you in this energy, they leave you fighting for what you believe in and you don't want you don't want to be fighting your high life. You want to go with the flow of life, you want to be calm. You want to enjoy life like this. Some kind of crazy crustacean or parasite thingy. Looks like a parasite. But yes, this person could be like a parasite to you. But you've had to stand your ground towards this person. Even though you care about them so much, this person could be a soulmate, some kind of soulmate that's got to teach you something in life. So we've got the Page of Swords coming out. What is this Page of Swords? We've got the moon, so Pisces Cancer energy. The four of pentacles. And the nine of pentacles. The five of pentacles. So even though you've put the swords in this crazy fish that lives underneath the ocean deep down i'm sorry i'm trying to be funny today um they're watching you they're watching you online they like to copy you, you know cockatoos like to copy what you say so this person looks you know admires you you teach this person you know they're the cockatoo they may bob their head like a cockatoo. Take what resonates for you. Um, but yeah, I feel like they look at you like this Nine of Pentacles. You are single. You have everything you need around you. You're like, look, you've, this cat has everything they need around them. And I feel that's you. This person is holding back from taking this path, but you're taking the path. I feel you're this rabbit Pisces Cancer energy. You're taking the path you deserve to take, but this person is going to be left behind because we've got the Five of Pentacles on the back of the deck, so I feel like this is them, this polar bear. They're sitting, sitting out in the middle of nowhere, cold, lonely. You know, you're leaving them to reach your highest potential because we've got the Wheel of Fortune coming out next, and I feel this is your turn in the wheel. This is your good fortune you got the scarab beetle on there. I love that. So that didn't fully go in the reverse. I'll take it upright. We've got the world coming out. Capricorn energy. You could be reaching the world with something. You know, something online. I'll take that. And I'll do a few more. One more. Yes, you could be reaching the world with something that you're doing at the moment. This person could live at a distance also. You know, that polar bears live in the Arctic and Antarctica and all that. So, you know, they live at a distance from you. And we've got strength, Leo energy. We've got the four of wands coming out also. So this is the path you're supposed to take, Pisces. We've got the wheel of fortune. As I said, Capricorn energy. That could be in your chart. But I feel like there is, you are the scarab beetle. You're ready to fly off into the world, into the unknown. Because you know that you are going to get what you deserve. It could be this gift that's coming in. But as I said, you may be reaching the world with something. You may feel alone too with what you're doing at the moment. You may not have many friends and family around you. And you may not be telling people about what you're doing at the moment. 
but keep having strength Pisces we've got strength Leo energy we've got the deer coming out as I said the deer means like a year so a year from now there could be amazing abundance coming for you with you know what you're working on at the moment Just keep having strength, Pisces. So what is this Two of Pentacles? We've got the Page of Cups. The King of Wands. And the Four of Wands. So... In the future, Pisces, you're going to be juggling on something. Someone's coming in with a cup. Someone's coming in with a new soul connection. This could be this thing that, this three of wands that you've been, you know, you can hear this coming. You can hear this emotional, new emotional connection coming towards you. There's a rush of fish. So, like, it's in the pipeline, I feel. Because we've got the page of cups. Water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. There could be an age difference. This card did come out back in the re reading. So this this is this person. They're coming in in the future. And you're going to have some kind of choice. We've got the King of Wands coming out. So fire energy, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. That could be in their chart. But this person is a person of passion. They could love lions. They could be very creative. But the King of Wands is, you know, passion, lust. So this person could be coming in with a lot of lust, a lot of sexual, not, you know, emotional, loving. One of them is going to be the right one. We've got the Four of Wands coming out. So 11-11, you're on the right track. Some kind of commitment, some kind of celebration with some kind of soul connection. See, all these people in your life could be soulmates towards you because you have so many soulmates in your lifetime. Everyone is teaching you a lesson. So, you know, this is what you could feel like with this, with this soulmate that you choose that's coming in. There's this love and compassion and just closeness and childlike, ways with each other acting childlike together and always being happy like those little lambs have smiles on their face so we got the nine of wands coming out what is this nine of wands we've got the lovers so a choice the queen of swords and the seven of swords on the back of the deck, we've got the Seven of Cups, so options. We've got the Nine of Wands coming out, so Wounded Warrior energy. I feel like this is you, Pisces. You are, you are this horse. You're fighting for what you believe in. You're standing up for your rights, your family, your life. But whatever you're standing up for... You're going to have to make a choice with. This is this choice. You're choosing. You know, you've got to make a decision. We've got the Two of Pentacles coming out. And then you make this decision, Pisces. Because we've got the Lovers, Gemini energy. That could be in this other person's chart that you're choosing. It could be choosing love. You could be choosing career. Take what resonates for you. But, you know, we've got the Lovers coming out. And I feel this is a connection these two seahorses, I'm sure I heard seahorses only have one mate for life. So, you know, you're choosing this mate for life. We've got the Queen of Swords coming out, so air energy. I feel like this is you. How beautiful is this card? How beautiful is the hummingbird? It is absolutely beautiful, the colours. It's like your fire. That's um, I know it's the swords and stuff, but just the colours... The reds, like the hummingbird is silent but quick. So, you know, this could be you. You could be silently ending this 
situation, becoming the queen of swords and using logic and not emotion by choosing some kind of path. We got the seven of swords coming out. So I feel like you're, you're going to up and leave. You're going to ghost. That's what I feel. I feel like you're the spider trying to get out of this situation of someone throwing all these knives down. You're out of there. And spiders are so quiet. So just like this quietness, you're fighting for what you believe in. You know, you've got options. You could have been looking at a situation with rose-colored glasses on. But I feel this person is also coming in to give you, you know, as it come out in the reading, some kind of... They want to give you some kind of new emotional start. This person, they could be traveling towards you right now, ready to make a move. But it's your choice, Pisces, on who you choose. You're using your logic, which is what we should be using, you know, looking at the pros and cons of each situation and going from there. So we've got a tower moment. There's a tower moment coming for you, Pisces. Let's we'll see if we can get some information out on what this tower moment is going to be. What is this tower? We've got the Three of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles, the Two of Cups, and the King of Swords. See that? That's beautiful too, the King of Swords. That The sword is just amazing. Oh, I love it. And on the back of the deck, we've got the Hanged Man, Pisces Energy. That's you, Pisces. Okay, so this tower moment I feel is this person is going to come in wanting some kind of commitment, some kind of celebration with you. They could be wanting to join in with your family. You know, there's three people here or three little, they must be like baby capybanas or something, I don't know. But anyways, there's three of them here. They could feel like part of your family. But yes, you're coming out this Nine of Pentacles energy. You're just sitting, doing your thing. You have everything in around you that you need. This could be your energy when this tower moment comes in. But this tower is this Two of Cups. They want this connection. I think penguins only have one mate for life also, I think. So... You know, that's, they want you forever. We've got the King of Swords coming out. So air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, that could be in their chart, but they could be a person that only uses logic. They don't use emotion. You've never seen them use emotion. So it's, you know, it's not a crazy tower moment, but it's a tower moment. You know, it could be a tower moment for this person also. They feel, you know, are they one of those lionfish also in that one? They're alive again after you stabbed them? No, that was the deep water one, but this is a lionfish. They could feel like, you know, deadly to touch. Some person that's deadly to touch. What is this eight of wands? for Pisces. So we got the Eight of Cups, the Three of Pentacles, and the Page of Pentacles. So this is a wish fulfillment. You could be manifesting this person back into your life. But I feel like you're this eagle flying. There's going to be messages coming towards you, as I said, when you're in this Nine of Pentacles energy with you having everything you need around you. You may be focusing on yourself a lot. But I feel like you walked away from this situation 
and you may walk away from it again because we've got the Eight of Cups coming out. But this person wants to come in and collaborate. They keep wanting to come in and collaborate, but they may have not come in yet. They're in that hanged man energy. We've got the Page of Pentacles. So Earth Energy, Gemini, Libra, sorry. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. I keep thinking of air signs, so they could use a lot of logic. But yes, they could have Earth in their chart. There could be an age difference. Grasshoppers or crickets could be coming out to you. And sunflowers. But yes, there is an age difference. This person likes to maybe wreck nice things. I don't know. This person may have tried to bring you down. But yes, I'm going to see if I can get something out on that Eight of Cups because I want to see if you're going to walk away from this Pisces. we got the Two of Wands. Look at that. So I feel like they're going to come in. They're going to try and bring a tower moment. They may come in with some kind of just logic and not love, you know, with the King of Swords coming out. <clears throat> but they may want to collaborate with you but it looks like you've got a choice to make we've got the two of wands but it looks like you're going to choose a path and you know these two birds are like which way do we go this way that way but you choose a path and this path is to end it we've got the ten of swords coming out so they may come in with something that you don't like and you're going to end the situation because you are the emperor these days, Pisces. You are using your logic to make decisions. Okay. So, because I said we're going to do something different today, I'm going to grab out some of my guided messages oracle deck and see if Divine has any other channeled messages for the Pisces Collective about this person or what you need to know, any other messages, and then I'll grab out some of my intuitive music messages oracle cards. I'll grab one of those, but I'll grab two guided messages oracle cards, please. So we have a liar. So this person could come into you with lies. They could have lied to you the whole time. They could be just a big liar. And then we've got they aren't coming back. So that could be you. You're not coming back to this situation. We've got mail. So yes, I feel like you're going to say goodbye to that situation. So we'll grab out one intuitive music messages oracle card and see what channeled song Divine has for the Pisces Collective. Card for Pisces, please. Forever Drunk, Peach PRC. And on the back of the deck, we've got The Real Thing, Russell Morris. So listen to these songs. They will have messages for you in them. I'll leave it at that today, Pisces. Thank you for coming to my reading. If this is your first time, welcome. Just remember, all my readings are timeless. So if you ever want to check out my channel, there is a playlist for Pisces on there. There will be messages. Also, check out your sun, moon, rising, and Venus. I do have playlists for those zodiacs also, all the zodiacs. So check them out. I also have a Patreon channel which does uncensored tarot reads. So if you're looking for uncensored cards as YouTube doesn't let certain, well, doesn't let nudity on the channel, which is understandable, um, I do have my Patreon, which is a paid subscription. So check that out if you want to see uncensored tarot reads. I also have memberships on YouTube. Check out uh, YouTube on your desktop 
and you will be able to join those. They are, you know, there's exclusive reads on there, live reads. So yeah, I have heaps going on. Check out my description below. I have all the links down there. I have links for cards also, the links for songs. So yes, I thank you all for watching, liking and subscribing to my to my channel. It means so much to me having you all here every day. I love having our community. I am very grateful. Thank you so much to everybody that donates and supports me. It means so much. Just like I do this because I love doing this and you know, every day you're doing it, you're learning still as you do, you're humble for life. And you know, I'm doing something I love and I'm helping people and that's what I want to do. And I love hearing from you all and yes, have the best day and thank you so much for your support and I'll see you all again tomorrow. Bye-bye.